Man, Nike is empty in the clip. This is crazy. These restocks I'm about to tell you about are insane. Let's go. What's good, y'all, man? It is your boy, Sniper Kicks. In today's video, man, it is going to be a banger. You are going to be surprised about the sneakers that Nike has been restocking on. And guys, make sure you are alert because this summer is going to be outrageous. But before we get into the video, you already know, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you smash that like button. And of course, hit that notification bell on. So let's start. The Jordan 1 Low Black Toes dropped on JD Sports and Finish Life for grade school sizes. They had a full size run four all the way to seven. And this might be a glitch. You don't know, maybe JD Sports allows those orders to process, but as you know, this shoe doesn't release till late in July. Jordan 1 Low Black Toe, in my opinion, is the sleeper of the summer. This shoe right here is an OG colorway. Yes, some people are not fans of Jordan 1 Lows. Remember last year, the Jordan 1 Low Powder Blue, it set for a very long time even though it was a clean colorway but these jordan one black toes i believe they might sit for a little bit but people will regret over time not picking these up because if you recall back maybe like three years ago there was a jordan one black toe with the jump man and that shoe right now is going for 350 plus and that shoe sat as well it is a og colorway you cannot beat that but jd sports and fitness line dropped gs sizes today let's see if they process but overall if you get them early congrats 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 so now let's talk about the jordan 4 red cement so now we have official images right here i'm gonna put them right here these right here are all right i call this the poor man jordan 4 fire red but i'm not gonna lie they are looking a little bit better me personally i am not going to cop them for a personal pair but if you want this sneaker and you need a white red and black jordan 4 hey cop them cop them this is probably going to be one of the hottest shoes of the summer i believe they dropped september 9th so go ahead and get your pairs there will be a decent amount of stock of this sneaker and you already know resellers will be going crazy for this jordan 4 red cements but let me know in the comment section below if you are a fan of these jordan 4s i know some people are i know some people aren't but overall it is a clean colorway but it's not my cup of tea also we're getting another university blue colorway but now it's going to be for the jordan 2 these right here might be one of my first jordan 2s that i get i had the jordan 2 chicago's but i was like ah uh, didn't really want them i had like the concord jordan 2 back in the day but ah uh, i didn't really like them but these jordan 2 unc lows now we're talking these right here are easy to put on. They are the University of Blue North Carolina colorway. Looks very nice. This might be one of my first Jordan 2s that I cop. But guys, let me know in the comment section below if you are going to cop these Jordan 2 UNCs. I saw the UNC basketball team actually receive these a couple days ago. So overall, it is a clean Jordan 2. Now, let's talk about the restocks Nike has been getting this has been insane. So I'm gonna be talking about Nike outlets, Nike stores, and I'll be talking about Flex, cause Flex has been getting shipments of a sneaker that dropped earlier this year. And there was kind of a sneaker reserve, a shock drop on this sneaker as well. So be prepared for this. The first sneaker I'm gonna talk about is a sneaker that dropped a while back, but Nike outlets are finally receiving shipments of this right here the jordan one pat and bread here's the thing with the nike outlets usually during the summer they get so much crazy heat and nike outlets are receiving these jordan one pat and breads again with my discord we have those nike in-store monitors where you can check the stock of any sneaker in any location across the u.s those are benefits because now you can check if your local store actually has the Jordan 1 patent breads. There's going to be a lot of sneakers that I talk about. On top of that, my Discord, we have something called in-store pings where you get notified when sneakers that are releasing across the nation. There's a sneaker that dropped in 2018 that people in my Discord were notified about. And man, this is a crazy sneaker. We're going to talk about it later in the video. But again, make sure you're checking your Nike outlets this summer. But Nike outlets have been receiving the Jordan 1 patent breads 
overall these were kind of a flop because man they are an og colorway in that patent bread but people wasn't feeling the patent bread i guess people weren't feeling that patent leather so these didn't do as well as everybody thought like man these are instant sell man there'll be high resale value on this sneaker but it did not pan out but overall it is a clean sneaker i do have the og breads so maybe down the line i will wear these but hey you cannot be a patent bread jordan one for retail at the nike outlet so Another sneaker I want to talk about, and this is the sneaker I was referring earlier, is this right here. Guys, I know, I know, if you follow me on IG and Twitter, I talked about this sneaker restocking at a Nike in DC. So these Nike United stores have been getting straight heat. But right here, the Jordan 11 Concourse restocked at Nike. Here's the thing, Nike never, never, never sells out it never sells out the sneakers you feel like like man that came out five years ago it's over with no it doesn't sell out if you recall in one of my previous videos a few months ago jd sports in chicago also got the jordan 11 concords but in gs sizes if you recall a video of mine a year ago there was cool grays there was jordan 11 breads there were a jordan 11 concords at the nike outlet in chicago go back to my old videos around a year ago so as you guys know nike does not sell out as proof that yesterday the jordan 11 concords dropped at nike here's the thing you might see more concords pop up the one thing about nike outlets is when one location gets them there's usually several other locations that get them as well and we're going to talk about that on another sneaker jordan 4 that a lot of people like that has been restocking at nike outlets but this is insane 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 on these right here the jordan 11 concords and again People in my Discord were notified when these dropped. Again, with the in-store pings, people got the notification that these were at the Nike Unite in DC. And hey, it is what it is. You wanna get notification when things like this come to stores with those monitors, with the notifications, and that is very beneficial there. Let's talk about some more sneakers, man. There has been a lot of sneakers going on, man. This has been crazy, it's crazy, man. The summer is gonna be outrageous. On top of that, bam, this right here, Nike outlets are still receiving the Jordan 1 Spider-Verse 2.0. Here's the thing, Nike outlets are able to sell hyped or tier zero sneakers or collab sneakers. They sell them when they want to sell them. And here's the thing, more Nike outlets are starting to receive shipment of the Jordan 1 Spider-Verse. Again, with the Discord, you can check the stock of every single location. But man, these are starting to go up. These are super, super, super weird, but nice. Like a lot of people love these, a lot of people hate these. They started to grow on me. I still hate these circles right here. <laughs> I still hate these circles. But overall, people say this is a kid's shoe, but you cannot beat this sneaker. The sneakers continue to go up in price. And this sneaker right here, it is one of the best Jordan 1s that dropped in 2023. So right here, the Jordan 1 Spider for 2.0 has been dropping at Nike outlets. A lot of people that watch my videos have been saying like, hey, Sniper, I checked my Nike outlet. And they said they do have them. They're going to release them at a random time. So again, guys, make sure you're checking your stores for sneakers so another shoe again we talked about the sneaker in my previous video the jordan 4 military blacks are still hitting nike outlets chicago got them in the past couple days people in my discord again with those monitors were able to cop the jordan 4 military blacks those are b grades right there but on top of that detroit the nike in detroit also got them as well and people were able to cop there too again notification on that expect more stores to get the jordan 4 military blacks as well one location gets them usually multiple locations get them jordan 4 military blacks have been hating outlets for the past two months so they're going to continue to do that again those are b grades so make sure make sure make sure you check your nike outlets and again a lot of these b grades actually look better than the actual retail pair make sure you do hop on them they do come in an orange box but overall, they're still Jordan 4 military blacks. So another sneaker I wanna talk about, and I know you guys are gonna love this one. Bam, the Jordan 1 lost and found. So here's the thing. Some Nike outlets are starting to get this sneaker right here. You saw my previous video around a few weeks or a month ago, I talked about how Nike outlets were getting the Jordan 1 lost and founds in GS sizes. 
So again, make sure you check your Nike outlets. There are some Nike outlets that have been receiving the Jordan 1 lost and fouls. And I think when we get deeper into summer, there's gonna be more shipments of the Jordan 1 lost and fouls hitting Nike outlets. As you know, this shoe was mass produced. There's 500,000 pairs. And guess what? When you make that many pairs, there's some going to the outlets. There's some going to the outlets. So Jordan 1 lost and founds, probably the best shoe of last year. And I believe this shoe right here will be a thousand dollar shoe one day. Nike outlets are receiving this Jordan 1 lost and founds. So crazy, man, so crazy, so crazy. I'm telling you right now, there is some heat, heat, heat that is coming to Nike outlets across the US. Now we're gonna talk about Flex. So Flex stores have been getting a restock of the sneaker right here. So we got a restock or a sneaker reserve for the sneaker, but overall Flex stores are receiving more shipments of the Jordan 3 Reimagined White Cement. There is not resale value on this sneaker, but this sneaker is super, super clean. And who is sleeping on this sneaker is gonna regret it. Yes, there was a ton of stock, but this reminds me of the Jordan 3 Black Cement where there wasn't resale value. But over time, man, you see the prices on the Jordan 3 Black Cement. So the Jordan 1 White Cement Reimagined has been hitting flex stores. So make sure you're checking your flex stores as well. There's a lot, a lot of information out there that I want to give you guys. Make sure you have your notification bells on because I will update you on what is going on. And you already know Sniper always got your back. Next day, I want to talk about Jordan 1 University Blue Toe. Here's the thing, there is a lot of rumors about a shock drop and it is most likely gonna happen next week. Again, have those notification bells on and I will let you guys know what date it is going to be. But if you guys recall, Nike has been more clever with their shock drops. Remember when we got the Jordan Reserve for these Jordan 3 reimagines, it was at a complete random time. Like it was just random. Like it caught a lot of people off guard. You saw a lot of people make a YouTube video. It was gonna be at this time, this time, this time, this time, this time. And all of them were wrong. All of them were wrong about that sneaker reserve shock drop. So you might expect the same thing with the Jordan 1 University Blue Toe. Again, I will update you. Make sure you have your notification bells on because you do not want to miss it. If the shock drop goes live, it's most likely going to go live because again, Nike made so many pairs of the Jordan 1 University Blue Toe and it makes sense for Nike to unload those pairs on a shock drop. But Nike might do it at a complete random time or they might just do it like they always done. Hey, we know the time beforehand. Bam, everybody's ready. We're good to go. Kind of like the Jordan 4 Thunder and the Jordan 1 Spider-Verse. But I believe Nike hears the rumbling out on social media, out on YouTube, and they might just do it at a complete random time like the Jordan Reserve. Guys, let me know in the comment section below, what do you prefer? Do you prefer a complete random time? You know the date, but it's a complete random time. Or do you prefer if you know the time and then you're good to go? Let me know in the comment section below. But hey, be prepared for the Jordan University Blue Toe. There is a lot of pairs, 600,000 pairs worldwide. So if you do put your footwork, you will be able to cop. Again, I'll give you all the tools. Make sure you have your notification bells on. There's a lot of avenues to cop the Jordan 1 University Blue Toe. So guys, be prepared, be prepared. But guys, that is the video for today, man. Insane things that are restocking in store. Just crazy. Look at the sneakers that I just said. Jordan 4 Military Blacks, Jordan 1 Lost and Founds, Jordan 3 Reimagines hitting Flex Stores, Jordan 1 Pat and Breads hitting Nike outlets across the nation, Jordan 11 Concords restocked at the Nike store in DC, and I expect more stores to get the Jordan 11 Concords. And you saw from that picture right there, they have icy blue bottoms. And these are not B grades, they're actual retail pairs, which is absolutely insane. And they did not have yellowing. You see my pair right here. It has not even that much yellowing, but those were straight clean. Clean, super clean. And man, I'm telling you right now, I believe more stores will be getting the 2018 Jordan 11 Concords. And that is absolutely crazy. On top of that, 
bam, Jordan 1 Spider-Verse have been hitting at Nike outlets. And again, guys, last thing I wanna leave you is make sure you're checking your stores for these Nike Dunks. Number one, the Mocha Dunks. The Mocha Dunks are starting to hit Nike stores. Again, with those monitors, you can check those stores. Make sure you're checking that Mocha Dunk. They're hitting Nike stores and they're continuing to hit JD Sports in finish line. They actually did exclusive access, I believe, a couple days ago, but they're starting to hit in store even more. The Nike Dunk Chicago Split is hitting JD Sports and Finish Line, so make sure you're checking your stores for that split Chicago dunk. So again, a lot of things are going on. Summer is starting to heat up. Jordan 1, University Blue Toes, those are gonna be insane. Yes, a lot of stock, but a lot of people will be going after that sneaker. But guys, really do appreciate you guys for watching this video. I had a lot of information for you guys. Make sure, make sure, make sure you have your notification bells on and you're subscribed to the channel because I will keep updating you guys how to cop sneakers and what is going on in the sneaker community. In-store, sneaker news, all those things I will update you guys. Really do appreciate you guys. Happy Saturday, man. Make sure you enjoy your time with your family. Fortress July is coming soon. And you already know, Snapper Kicks out. Peace.